So we're looking at this. Uh, I don't, the Spill Smith, Chris Rock thing. I don't think that it's fake. I think that, I get it. I understand it. it will be exploited for ratings for the Oscars and shit like that. And so it's serendipitous for a show that no one watches anymore, like the Oscars, to think, oh, they intentionally did this. I don't think that the event itself was intentional. I think that they'll play it up in subtle and not so subtle ways to get more views on this sort of thing. But um, but I definitely think it's real. I could be wrong, uh, but I think that I'm 95% sure that it's real. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, first, we'll start off with the joke. Oh, Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> now, let's stop right here. Now, you can see people are saying Will Smith's laughing. Jada's not laughing. Now, I think that Jada is a more confident person, and I think she's the more dominant person in this relationship. Get a little <laughs> uh, and little psychiatry for me, which I'm not qualified to do whatsoever. I'm just giving my opinion. I think, and when I think that manifest here is, I think Will's doing what most, I think I would do the same thing too. You're at an event, and most of the time you're probably like, I really don't want to be here. I certainly don't want the camera on me, but you feel like you have to be like, oh, anytime they're telling jokes. I don't think, like other people were saying, that Will thought this was funny. I think Will is preconditioned anytime he or his wife's name is brought up to do what you're supposed to do, which is laugh a little. And I think you see this a lot of time. Now, sometimes you'll see people that get made fun of that they'll just be like, mm, no. But most of the time you just see like a light chuckle because I think that's how people are conditioned to behave. Jada, being someone who I think is more dominant in the relationship, she don't feel she has to do that shit, you know? And so she don't like it. She don't like being made fun of like this, and she's like, mm, no, I don't like it. Now, the camera pans away. I don't know if you could see, or if there's an angle where someone could be able to see what Jada's doing. You could tell she's kind of looking at Will right now. I'm guessing she's not happy that Will's laughing. I would guess that Will probably sees her reaction and then thinks, oh, shit. But I don't, I do disagree with people that are saying like, well, Will was laughing. He thought it was funny. I don't think the joke probably even resonated with Will. I think Will was like, I'm going to win a fucking Oscar tonight. That's probably what he's thinking. And he's just kind of nervous and kind of waiting for that moment. And he's just going through the motions. That's what I think. So he didn't particularly, I don't think he was offended at this point, but I don't think he thought it was funny. I just think he's just going through the motions. It's not even registering what was said. That's what I think's going on. Then, when he starts to think about it and he sees his wife's reaction, he gets sort of, well, he gets very pissed, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. It was not a bad joke. That's absolutely true. Uh, first off, joking about someone's hair and being bald. I'll talk about this more later in the show. It's not a big issue anyways. When you hear some of the things that are said, not just at the Oscars, but at roasts and things like that, but definitely still at the Oscars. Far, even on this Oscar show, far meaner things were said to people. I don't think joking about people's hair, man or woman, is that big of a deal. And if you're going to do a joke, like, even if you say, well, it's a taboo subject because she has alopecia, which is a bad joke in its own right, but whatever, uh, he... The joke that was told about being bald was one of the most benign that you could make, right? It wasn't like, you know, you look like a cue ball or something like that that would be more derogatory. It was like, you could be in G.I. Jane. So it's not even, once you get to the subject matter, it's not that bad of a joke at that point. And I think that Chris Rock probably knows, not Will, but Jada, and he's told jokes about her at the Oscars before. I think that he probably knows that she can't take a fucking joke. So that's why he says... Oh, I, you know, it's not even that bad a one. What, what? I think that's why he's saying that. Because he and other people in the audience know, like, you can't pick on Jada. You can't do that. She don't take that well. And he's like, look, it wasn't even that bad. The other thing to say specifically about the joke is, I don't even know that we know Chris Rock wrote this joke. A lot of these events, what happens is, the comedians write some of the jokes, but there's writers behind the scene. So we don't even know if this was a joke that Chris Rock himself came up with. He's just getting through this segment. That's it. So he's ready to move on. He's like, ah, it wasn't that bad. We're moving on. So Will Smith chuckled a little. Now I think at this point, Will's probably looking at Jada. It's kind of resonating what was said a little. And so then we'll see the next action. I'm out here. Uh oh See, now I think he sees Will coming up and he thinks Will's going to give him a like, hey, you know, or just not hit him, but just kind of, you know, pretend to hit him or something like that. And it's like, ah, it'll be big funny. You know, that's what I think is going to... Now, what I want you to watch is... Watch Will's posture and sort of the way he's walking here. 
Look at his head. You see how he's doing that? Like, he's doing it like almost like you would be acting if you were a tough guy. It reminds me of, like, Stone Cold Steve Austin or Vince McMahon walking, right? He's thinking, right now, Will knows he's going to slap him, right? But Will thinks that it's going to be like, uh, yeah, that guy's sticking up for his wife and everyone's super cool with it and it won't be a big deal. And I think that once he, it doesn't hit him until he's almost back to his seat, like, dude, you just assaulted someone, right? Will's thinking right now, it's like, you know, did you ever see, like, when you see these roasts or these events like this where someone stands up and it's like, like, you'll see, like, Mike Tyson stand up, put someone in a headlock and rub it, and everyone's like, woo, you know, something like that, where someone that, that, ooh, we think they have the right to be a little offended. So Will's hamming it up right now. I think he's genuinely pissed, but he's hamming it up like, I'm about to do, you know, and everyone's going to be like, yeah, this is the shit, you know, that's what I think, and I, I, it, it just reeks of... Not acting like this isn't a real situation, but acting like acting like this is how a tough guy is supposed to act that's protecting his wife. You know, that's what it reeks of to me. That swagger. That's not like that's not what you would really do, I don't think, if you were like in the spur of the moment pissed off and defending someone. I don't think you'd have the whole and then grab your belt buckle on the way back, like, you know, with that sort of like I think he's playing it up right now. He thinks this is gonna be good for the audience. I do think that he's doing this because of Jada, but I also think that his mannerisms and the way he's acting is because he thinks that this is playing out. I don't think it's fake. I don't think it's fake at all. I think that it's too difficult to act in this way for these people to be doing it in this manner. And I think you could really see with Chris Rock's reaction, I don't think it's fake, but we'll continue. I'm not going to talk much about the fake stuff. Could be, but that's just my point. <laughs> see, I don't think Chris saw that coming. It's difficult to take a slap like that without raising your hands if you know it's coming. Like, unless you're really trained, like, I think your gut reaction, if you know, even if you, like, know for something that someone's going to slap you, it's, it's very difficult to not get your hands up. And I think you could tell that Chris didn't see it coming. I think he expected Will to do something, was going to flinch, but I don't think he expected to get hit. I just know. Uh, so, he smacks him. Look at his pose here, even. Like, super exaggerated pose with even his hand super exaggerated out. Like, to me, it's, it's still... I don't think it's fake, but I think it's a performance of someone who doesn't know how to behave themselves, what they think that people want to see from them. Oh, wow! Wow! Now... Look at Will. He's got a little smirk there, and he's holding his belt like he's still got a little swagger there. And I don't think it hits him until particularly after he shouts the first thing here. Then I think he realizes what happens. Chris Rock, I got to say, comes out of this looking like the man. Because, you know, it's it's incredible. It's to, to the show still going on. Because who could blame, if this is real, which I'm 95%, who could blame Chris Rock for just being like, yeah, fuck all this. I'm out. I'm just walking up. You kidding me? You know, and I don't care who you are. Look, there's no shame in getting your ass beat. I've got my ass beat. There's no shame in getting hit, but it feels like there is. You can't help it. If you're out in public and someone whacks you, you're embarrassed. You're like, what? And you, you like, you feel like you need to do something in response. You do. It's a natural reaction. So to maintain his composure in a very professional way like this, and he didn't even touch his face, which you think, I, I mean, that... You'd think that would hurt, and even if it didn't hurt, you'd think you'd be like, what? Like, you'd feel. He didn't. He's just going on. He's just like, wow, okay. You know? No, look, see Will there. We can rewind a little if we need to, but now listen to Chris here. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. It's funny. He took my wife's name. Like, he's trying to make the most of it. He's smiling. He's like, okay. Like, and to me, he's saying that, like, I can't believe that shit just happened. Now you hear Will Smith, he starts saying... Keep my wife's name. Out your fucking mouth. What? Now, right here. I think Will, he starts tearing up. And I, like, I mean, to me, I've seen this. I've seen people do shit. I've seen, I've been at a bar. I've seen someone fucking whack someone in the spur of the moment. And then that adrenaline, like, it's kicking. And, and like, you just realize, like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. And to me... Now, the bravado, the extended slap, the holding the belt buckle, I think he just realizes, like, uh-oh. And to me, I think Will Smith is probably a person with a lot of problems uh, in his relationship, 
and a lot of problems with kind of how to compose himself. I think he realizes at this point he just fucked up. That's what I think, you know? And this is how it's manifesting. Ow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to. And he has this sort of what he thinks is righteous indignation. But this isn't a masculine look. It's sad. It's pathetic. Like he's crying. He's broken. Because he realizes the gravity of what he's done. I think. This isn't someone that slapped someone down that grabbed his wife's ass and he's confidently standing over him. This is someone who knows. I mean, it's sad. It's not acceptable. And by the way, I didn't comment on this, but when you hear... Let's, let's go back here for a second. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> Listen, the crowd... Oh, because they think it's funny. They don't expect him to really hit him, but watch what happens. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. There's kind of like a little bit of applause and people are like, oh... Like, and it's so weird. It's because these situations are so fake. These award ceremonies, anything with a big crowd like that, you're playing a role. Like, and if you listen to magicians talk, it's one of the things I always found was fascinating. Did you ever see the trick? It's like this classic magician's trick where you'll see someone, you know, the magician's on stage and they'll do a little, oh, I'm going to go behind this curtain and blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, sharks are going to eat me. Whatever. Something happens and then, oh, the, it, no, what happened? The magician drowned or something. And then all of a sudden the, the light pans out and there in the crowd's the magician. And I've heard Penn and Teller talk about that. Well, Penn. And he's like, you know how you do that? You just literally walk through the crowd. And the audience doesn't know. They just don't know. Like, it's that simple. And then there's also, magicians talk about, you know, uh, you could bring someone off cold, off the audience, and they'll go along with the trick a lot of times. When you're in an audience like this, you're subconsciously playing a role. And so a lot of what you see is people acting as if they're, they're kind of playing the part of audience member at Oscars and what you're supposed to do. And Will Smith is this very sophisticated, great guy that's at the peak of it. You know, he's a peer of all these people and he's at the peak of the industry. And so, woo, right? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to laugh at the MC, you know, making the jokes a little. <laughs> and then when someone does something like this, particularly someone like Will Smith, you're supposed to kind of applaud. And I don't think the gravity of what happened hits people until Will starts shouting here. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. And kudos to Chris Rock for trying to lighten it up. So you can hear a couple chuckles at first, and then people are like, oh. And then it's less funny the second time. Uh, that's, I mean, that's, that's a broken face. It just is. Ow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? Not much of a reaction there that second time, right? And the funny thing is, if Will hadn't yelled that, I don't think that the I don't think that it would have been twice the reaction that people are getting. I think Will and because Chris, assuming he really got slapped, Chris ain't gonna be like he ain't gonna like come out and press charges. He ain't gonna make a big scene out of it. At least not initially, like the next day or week or so. But then you could see how fragile will smith is there and everyone's like oh that wasn't a joke it wasn't funny right and everybody's just quiet so that's actually the worst thing perceptually for will worse than even slapping chris rogue now obviously the violence is the worst thing but perceptually for will smith he could have played it off as yeah it's just a friendly slap it wasn't a big deal yeah i probably shouldn't hit him whatever but now it's obvious like this will's fragile you know so let, let's go on <laughs> you see what Chris Rock just did there? I didn't catch this the first time I saw this. Watch, watch what he does. <laughs> I could, oh. He says, oh, I could. Because that's a guy that's thinking, <laughs> I got something to say. That's a guy who's furious. And that's part of the reason that I don't think that this is staged. 
Because I think you see Chris Rock there thinking in his head, like, I'm about to burn this down. I think he's about to say, you want me to make fun of your wife, Will? Let's talk about some other things that I can make fun of. Or, you want, you want to talk about Will Smith here? You know, or maybe he was thinking, you know what I could do? I'd come up there and slap the taste out of your mouth. And I don't think you could fake that. That'd take a hell of an actor. That's like some Joaquin Phoenix Joker style acting. To be able, those mannerisms, that face, like, uh, just, I've been there. Where, you know, did you ever get in a fight with your, you know, significant other? When you're thinking, like, you, uh, you're biting your lip like, there's something I could say right now. But you're trying to, like, de-escalate it. That's what it looked like to me. That's, that's, that's really what he looks like right there. Like, Ugh. but he's, and that to me shows just how good Chris Rock comes out looking in this is that the show went on after all this, he still goes on with it. Okay. Takes a moment. He's like, all right. Right. And then back to the script. And to me, Chris Rock comes out as a guy who gets assaulted, who had every right. I would not have blamed this man at all for either physically or verbally lashing out or walking off the stage. He just what? He's embarrassed. And yet the show goes on. And to me, that is, I couldn't speak higher of someone's professionalism. You know, if, like to me, if, if you ever, you know, if I needed someone to host something, I wouldn't hesitate to have Chris Rock. I guess that's what I'm saying. We'll finish it. That was the uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. And it's pretty funny, you know, off the cuff joke there to make light of the situation. You know, so now he's trying to get back on board though. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out. An Oscar slips up a little there, but you can see the audience. It's weird. It's awkward now. It's awkward. Uh, you know, if I was Chris Rock, I'd be pissed that they let this guy up on stage like that. I would be. You know. But no, I don't think it's fake. So that's what I think. I'm, I think. I think that Will Smith's a broken guy. You know, I think that. He was just laughing because he was programmed to laugh and he's nervous about winning an Oscar and he's not even really paying attention. He's just going through the motions because he wants to get to, you know, 15 or 40 minutes later in the night where he's up for this Oscar and he's probably nervous. And, you know, and I think his wife is someone who has more arrogance or confidence, however you want to look at it. And she don't feel she has to go through those motions, which is right or wrong. And she was pissed. And when Will noticed it and he was like, oh, yeah, I'll go up. And he went up with a swagger because he thought that it was going to be all... You know, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. And everyone would be like, yay. And then when he came back, I think he realized that his adrenaline got the best of him. And you saw how fragile he really was. When he's crying to himself. You know, over what? A bald joke? G.I. Jane joke? And I think Chris comes off much better. And so, yeah, I'll talk a lot more after this. But I'm, I'll end this recording now. But I'll take a lot more about how violence like this is never acceptable when directed at jokes. And I think Will Smith looks horrible here so